In this problem, I need to condense this expression here into one single logarithm. And I've written the properties of logarithms that we're going to use over here. Now, when I'm condensing the sum of two logs, it becomes the log of the product. But notice, what number do I have in front of each of these logs? A plus one. If I have the difference of two logs with a plus one in front of here and a minus one in front of here, it becomes the log of a quotient. So I want to use these uh, properties, but I cannot do them unless the numbers in front of the logs are one and negative one. So notice I have a two, a half, and a four that I don't want there. I can deal with the negative, I just cannot have the two, one half, and four. So what am I going to do with that? I'm going to use this property of logarithms that says x times log to the base b of m is equal to log to the base b of m raised to the x. So if I have a number in front of the log that's multiplied, I can bring it up as an exponent. So that's what I'm going to do in my expression here. The 2 is going to come up as an exponent. Just the half is going to come up as an exponent. And the 4 is going to come up as an exponent. So what it's going to give me is the natural log of x minus 3 to the second power minus, I want to leave the negative there, the natural log of x plus 2, and remember I brought the 1 half up as an exponent, raised to the 1 half power, plus the natural log of x to the 4th power minus the natural log of y. So now I'm ready to combine them. One way to do this is, since these two logs are subtracted from each other, I could turn this into a quotient, the same with this, and then I could combine them together. However, it's a lot easier to kind of take a shortcut. And the shortcut says, if your log is positive, the argument belongs in the numerator. If your log is negative, your argument belongs in the denominator. And that's the way I'm going to deal with it. So if I have a plus 1 in front of the log, the arguments go in the numerator. If I have a minus 1 in front of the logs, the arguments belong in the denominator. So I'm just going to write it as one log. So I have the natural log of a quantity. And all I've got to do is figure out where everything goes. The first term, plus 1 in front of it, my x minus 3 squared goes in the numerator. Next term, negative 1 in front of it, this is going to go in the denominator. So I'm going to have x plus 2 to the 1 half power in the denominator. Next term, plus 1, x to the 4th goes in the numerator, and the operation that you put in between this and this has to be multiplication, because remember, you cannot break up addition and subtractions. So when you have two terms in the numerator, putting them together, they have to multiply. And the last one has a minus 1, so my argument of y has to go in the denominator. And what operation do you put in between here and here? Multiplication. So the only thing left is to tidy it up a little bit. So this is going to become the natural log. Normally by convention, we'd write the x to the fourth before the x minus 3 all squared, but you don't have to since multiplication is commutative. This one, I think I'm going to write my y first, because now I have to turn this into a radical. And remember, the 1 half power is the square root 
of x plus 2. So that's just neatened up a little bit.